Hello. It's good to see you. Today we're going to take a look at some items that I purchased just recently at Aldi. I only went in there looking for one or two things and I came out with lots of stuff. Um, it wasn't like a regular grocery trip or anything. So these are just items that, um, a couple of them are items that I didn't expect to find. You know how it is though. You go in there and they have the, uh, the seasonal aisle of stuff and, um, Sometimes you find really, really cool things there. Um, I'll show you the one of the main things I went in there for um, was this right here. They had these last year, and I got some for my mom, and she loved them. Um, I only see them at Aldi around Christmas time. I ended up going to two different Aldis to find this. Um, Evie's upset. What? She's going to be really upset later when I have another cat here. <laughs> That's another story. She's staring at me now. Um, I went to the one, one Aldi and they didn't have any. So I went to another one and they had a bunch. So I bought a container of these Shoker dark chocolate, uh, dark, dark chocolate covered cherries. And it's whole cherries. And it doesn't have any of that filling stuff in there. Uh, Sella's cherries, she really likes the a clear filling. She can't stand the ones that have that super sweet white filling. Um, but she loved these. Um, this is a 12 ounce container of dark chocolate covered cherries. They also have milk chocolate if you prefer that. But she loves dark chocolate and she loves chocolate covered cherries. So this was perfect for her. And she loved the ones I got last year, so I'm going to get another one. I'm going to give her this one this year. So that that was one of the main things I went in there for. And then, let's see. They had Easy Peel Mandies. Little mandarin oranges. These are so cute. My kids love these. Um, they'll eat two or three of them at a time. This is a three pound bag of Mandy's. I'm not a big fan of them, but my kids really like them. Um, and they had these on sale. They were only $2.29, which was fabulous. So you get a really nice three pound bag. It comes in this red mesh, this plastic mesh here. Um, so I thought it was a really good deal for three pounds of mandarin oranges. I didn't go in there for that, but it was a good deal. One thing I did I did need though, hamburger buns. Now these are from Love and Fresh. It has this beautiful blue border up here. It's this pretty dark blue. I have a sweater this color. I love that color. Now this is a 12 ounce package of hamburger buns. You get eight in here. And they, um, I've noticed ever since Lidl has opened, I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to go help her just a second. Okay, we're good. <laughs> She's fine. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, ever since Lidl opened, uh, in Greensboro, I've noticed that all these prices have dropped. These used to be 85 cents, they are now 69 cents. And that price has maintained, it's been, stayed the same now for two or three weeks, at least two weeks. So I, I went to Lidl once. It was okay. Um, and that, that is how it's pronounced in the USA, just so you know. Um, it was all right. It was cool. I found some neat stuff there, but I honestly still prefer Aldi. So I'm going to keep going to Aldi. So I didn't need any hot dog buns. I just needed some hamburger buns so we can have hamburgers one night this week. And these are actually really good. They're nice and fluffy. They're not dry or anything. They're really good. Um, one thing I noticed though with their with their bread, and this is not a bad thing, but I noticed that it molds very quickly past the uh, the date on here. So it has December twelfth. By December 12th, you may already find some mold on it, um, which is not a big deal because they don't normally last that long. So, um, yeah, they don't have any high fructose corn syrup or artificial flavors or colors. Um, 
but yeah, they, they're not going to last until December 12th. It's okay. <laughs> Um, but every now and then you might have one or two left over and you'll see that by the around the date on there It will start to get a little moldy. So you just throw it out Okay, um, this is another thing I went in there for um, I have a friend who really loves these but doesn't live anywhere near Aldi and It's just not convenient to go. So I picked these up. I bought several boxes of these savor it's sea salt pita crackers now, they are um, very light little crackers here. They are double-baked pita crackers for dipping, topping, and most of all, enjoying. This is a five-ounce box, which doesn't sound like much, but this box, actually, if you, when you open it, you will find that they are contained in a, um, a little cellophane, little plastic bag, and it's very full. It actually comes all the way up to the top, So, but they are so light. That's, but it doesn't feel like there's much in here, but there really is. And you can top them with anything you like, cheese or any kind of uh, spread or whatever. They don't have any cholesterol or trans fat, artificial colors, or artificial flavors. So, and they're they're pretty cheap. I think they're two two twenty nine a box, something like that. Um, this was another thing I wanted to get. These are from. Lunch Buddies. These are for my younger son. He likes to take peaches pretty often in his lunch. And these are just individual containers of peaches. Each one is four ounces of yellow cling diced pe peaches packed in 100% fruit juice. And he really loves these. And these are only $1.69. You get four individually sealed containers. I used to use reusable containers, but several of them were accidentally thrown away. Um, so I just went back to using these. Um, yeah, so they have several different types of uh, little fruit cups like this. You can get all pineapple, fruit cocktail. Um, there's another fruit mix. I can't remember what's in it. I think it has mango and papaya and some other stuff in it. Um, oh, and mandarin oranges. You can also get the little oranges in these cups, too. But the peaches are his favorite, so that's what he always wants. And then I found this. This was cool. I got this for me. It is basically, all it is, is a gigantic hoodie. That's all. It's just a huge hoodie. It's a, a sweatshirt dress, and it does have a hood. Oh, no, it doesn't actually know. It's, um, it's not a hood. It's a mock turtleneck, which is fine. Uh, but it's just sweatshirt material. It's thinner than your average sweatshirt. I just thought this was really cute. I don't think I would wear it to work, but I would totally wear it basically anywhere else with a pair of tights and some boots. Oh, yeah. So this is from Sarah. It is certified Echo Tax. Quality you can count on. I have no idea what that is. Um, yeah, it's a, let's see, it's a cotton blend. It has cotton, viscous, and elastane in it. And it has a drawstring. Like back here, you can see this is the neck. And you have a little drawstring and a little tag hanging down. With, and this also has the barcode on it. So if the cashier grabs this, this part, they could just scan it without having to look back here. There's a giant barcode back here, but they don't have to get that one if they get the other one first. It's all about efficiency. You will notice that um, all these items, most of them have barcodes on multiple surfaces for faster scanning. That's how they're able to just quickly scan everything. They just, you know, it's really fast. So, I don't know. I thought this was cool. I bet it's really comfortable. Um, they must have put them out last week because they only had two of these left. One, The other one was, um, I think it was a lighter blue, and it had a message on it, like something about love, but I can't remember what it said. I didn't want one with a message on it. I wanted just a plain one. So, that's what I got. Um, this is heavy. I want to show you this in a minute. My older son loves sour cream and onion Pringles. I didn't go in there for this, 
this, but we've never tried Clancy's Stackers. So these are obviously made to look like Pringles. They're 99 cents for a five and a half ounce can of these, and they had several different flavors. I just want, I got sour cream and onion because that's his favorite. Um, just to try it, to see if he likes it or not. Um, I may try one. I don't know. They have the little plastic top on it. So if you don't eat them all, which you probably won't, you can just put the lid back on here and keep them from going stale. So in the picture we have a little, a little chip skiing on his little onions here. <laughs> yeah, that's really cute. He has this little hat. That's an adorable little potato chip. Okay. And then, of course, as always, I grabbed a loaf of Love and Fresh Classic White Bread. This is also, they've also dropped the price on this. It was 85 cents per loaf for a long time. It is now 65 cents a loaf. And I think we have Lidl to thank for that because they've never dropped the price on this bread like that. So now you can get a one pound, four ounce loaf of sliced bread for 65 cents. They also have lowered the price on all of their other breads. They have different types. They have regular wheat, um, honey wheat, whole grain. All of the prices have been lowered. So whatever it was before, I'd say it's at least 20 cents less now. So that's pretty great. One thing, I know I've mentioned this, but it's I love this one thing about their bread. It comes in this thicker plastic bag. I noticed that most store brand breads the plastic bag that they come in is really super thin and there could be a little hole in it and, and you don't even know it and where the hole is the bread is just going to be hard as a rock wherever it is it just dries the bread out completely and you're going to end up with a whole section of your bread that's basically no good um i really hate that i don't always notice it you know i'm in the store i just grab a loaf of bread and throw it in the cart and just move on i don't check it all over, which I guess I should, but I never think about it. I've never gotten a loaf of leavened fresh bread that had a hole in the bag. Never. And again, you have this blue, beautiful blue and dark brown banner across the edge of the bag here, the end of the bag. And my son uses this for his sandwiches for lunch. Okay. I'm going to have to get this here, I guess. Guess what Santa's bringing me for Christmas? This completely useless, ridiculous thing. I had been saying for a long time I wanted something like this. So, Santa is bringing me this. Santa is going to have this wrapped up under the tree for me Christmas morning. It is a retro six-can dry erase personal refrigerator. I've always said, I want a little refrigerator in my room that I can keep some drinks in, like a couple of cans of Pepsi or whatever, or some bottles of water, because I'm too lazy to come downstairs and get them. I've said so many times, I would love to have just a little tiny refrigerator up here so with just a couple of drinks in it or whatever, I could just reach in there and grab and I don't have to go downstairs. And they had this. They had this at Aldi yesterday. It's $29.99. Um, it cools down to 45 degrees. And it also can be used as a warmer. It warms up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it's based on room ambient temperature. It includes an AC plug for home outlets and a DC plug for 12 volt car outlets. So it's like the one that goes in the cigarette lighter. It also has a carrying handle to take it on the go and an easy view window. They had these in this bluish color and they also had them in black. I just really liked this blue one here and it just looks like an old timey refrigerator. I had to have it and it has the word nostalgia in silver script across the top. This is so cool. So it holds up to six 12 ounce cans. Um, and here it shows you the two plugs on the side. And I was a little concerned about that. I thought I need a regular plug 
that could just plug into the wall, but it has both, so you can use either one of these that you want to. So I could even take this with us if we needed to, if we were going on a trip or something, I could just plug it into one of, I have several of those little plugs in the car, I would just plug it in there. And a little handle on the top that I guess just pulls up like that. And it has a little see-through window so you can see inside it. So you can see the little shelf in there. And here's what it looks like when it's opened. See, it's not very big, obviously, but... Um, and it also comes with a dry erase marker. And you can write on the front like a dry erase board. <laughs> this... I think this is my favorite present so far this year. I always buy myself stuff. Well, if you're a single mom or a single parent, you know what it's like, um, you know... You may end up wrapping presents and putting them under the tree for yourself. This is going under the tree for me, from Santa. <laughs> this is just so cool. I saw it. I said, oh my gosh, I have to have that. That is, I've been looking for something like that. And it was only $30. So this is great for house, office, dorm room, car, boat, RV, and more. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. So, um, yeah, that's... Um, that's what I'm getting from Santa this year. We have several heavy items. Okay. And they, one thing I like about Aldi too is they have a lot of things like this. Little work gloves. They have tool kits. Things like that. These are work zone uh, work gloves. They're not super thick, which is nice. I got these for my older son. He, um, a lot of times on the weekends he's with his dad, they do a lot of work outside. They do yard work, fixing things, and I thought maybe he could use some work gloves. It might come in handy. He has his own toolbox, so he could just throw these in there. They're not very thick. They're not big. They fold up like this, you know. And they are also uh, touch screen compatible. They work with any touch screen device, which is pretty nice. These were $7.99. Um, I thought I could either wrap these up or just stick them in a stocking. I may just put them in a stocking. And they're extra large because he's really tall and has long fingers. So I thought this, I thought extra large might work. They may be too big through here. I, I don't know. I wasn't really sure what size to get. Um, oh, and I got I got some socks. I already got him some of these, but I kind of feel like you can never have too many nice warm socks. These are men's merino wool socks from Adventure Ridge. And I have some of the ladies' socks I think I showed you. These are the best socks, and they only really have them this time of year, at least around here. They're only $4.99 a pair, and these are great socks. Um, if you have an Aldi near you, I would definitely go get a pair or two and try them out. These are wonderful socks. They're not super thick, but they're very soft and warm. I love these. I wear mine all the time. I have several pairs of the women's merino wool socks. They're, they're wonderful. I love them. Um, so you can see they don't come up super far. Um, they have a reinforced heel and toe, uh, an arch compression, and they are fully cushioned on the bottom, and they're really comfortable. So, I actually got two pairs of these for him. I'll put these in a little box and wrap them up. I'm not, I don't want to take up his whole stocking with socks. That's, that's lame. I don't want to do that. And then, this was one of the things I went in there looking for. This is, um, Merry Moments Wire Fabric Premium Ribbon. You get 75 feet. And they had a bunch of different types. I wanted this red glitter ribbon. I'm probably going to use it on the next wreath we make. With 75 feet, I will have more than enough. I will have I'll have plenty left over. They have these big rolls of ribbon for only $4.99 at Aldi. It's pretty picked over though, honestly. A lot of it is gone because it's been out now for about a week or so, almost a week. A lot of it is already gone, but um this, this was one of the things I went in there looking for was some of this red sparkly ribbon. And I was able to get a roll of that. Um, it is one and a half inches wide. And it's perfect. It's going to be perfect for the wreath um, that I want us to make together. I'm hoping we can get to that pretty soon. Maybe tomorrow. It depends. I'm bringing home a cat tonight. My dad has a cat at his house that someone basically, I think just 
dumped there at his house. He lives way out in the middle of nowhere. And I think someone just dumped this cat at his house, the poor thing. And he can't keep it. And he said he couldn't find anybody who wants it. He's got to take it to the pound. Um, and I've, my kids and I decided to um, bring it here and at least try to see if we can all live together. Um, if, if, we, if it doesn't work out here, I will definitely find a home for her. So um, she won't have to go to the pound. Um, so any, I'm saying that to tell you that the cat will be here tomorrow. And I don't know how chaotic it's going to be. It may be totally fine. It may be fine. I don't know. But um, if, if I can, we'll try to make a wreath tomorrow. Now this stuff I got from my mom. Um, this is a uh, body care foot care package. You get three tubes in here. You get a foot gel. It has shea butter, mint oil, and aloe vera, a foot scrub with mint leaf extract, and a foot balm with mint leaf extract and jojoba seed oil. Um, and she she's going to love this. She loves minty stuff for her feet. So I saw this. I said, this is absolutely perfect for her. Each tube is two and a half ounces, and I think this was only $4.99. I think it was five bucks, basically, for this little gift pack. So, um, yeah, I think she'll really like this. She never buys stuff like this for herself. Um, so I like to treat her to things that I know she just never buys for herself. She always feels like she's wasting money, and so she doesn't, she doesn't buy stuff like that. And they also had this one. Now, these are both from Lucura Body Care, which is an Aldi brand. And they actually have a daytime face moisturizer and a nighttime moisturizer, which is really good. I used it for a long time um, before I switched to Chauvigny. And it's really great stuff. Um, they also make little kits like this around Christmas time as gifts. This is um, a hand cream. These are all hand creams. This one is um, shea butter and glycerin. This is shea butter and magnolia extract. And this is shea butter and something I can't read because it goes around the corner. Shea butter and, oh, provitamin B5. So, yeah. Each one of these, again, is two and a half ounces. And these were also $4.99 for the entire set. So I got her six tubes of really wonderful stuff for ten dollars from La Cura. and every product from La Cura that I've ever tried was really good I was very impressed so I have no doubt that these are going to be really good too and again she never buys stuff like this she will get the cheapest lotion she can find and then complain that she doesn't like it <laughs> like well why do you keep buying it if you don't like it you know how it is. Your parents, they they say things that drive you crazy and make you laugh at the same time. Okay. And this is something I want us to do together. And I need to get to it really soon. <laughs> this entire month is getting away from me. Um, but I bought a sugar cookie mix. It says it makes three dozen cookies. I find it never makes as many as it says it will. I guess I make mine bigger than you're supposed to. I will, I will never get three dozen cookies out of this. Um, but I have I have a special uh, roll-in pin I want us to try. Now, with a cookie like this, it has a pattern. It's a wooden rolling pin, and it has a pattern, like a Christmas pattern, etched into the rolling pin. And supposedly, when you roll them out, it's supposed to leave that pattern on the cookies. I don't know. I have my doubts that it's going to work. I think it's going to look really pretty on the cookie dough, but then when you bake it, it's going to puff up and you're not going to be able to see it. But we're going to try it. We're just going to try it and see what happens. So, um, they also have recipes that you can get at aldi.us slash recipes for cheesecake bites and simple peanut butter cookies. That's cool. So, I got this for us. Um, all you need with this is eight tablespoons of butter and one large egg. And I guess you just mix it all together and there you have it. 
So we, we are going to get to this <laughs> at some point <laughs> when I can. We're gonna make we're gonna make those. Um oh these are for my car. They had jumper cables and these were only $9.99. These are four gauge jumper cables and it has a tw they're 12 feet long. I have jumper cables in my trunk that my dad gave me, um, but they're really, really old and I don't think they work. I could be wrong. Um, my, my truck, you know, I have a truck and a car. Um, my, my son, my younger son left an overhead light on in the truck one day and I didn't know it. It was the middle of the day and apparently he was mess messing with it and had turned it on and I didn't know. And I didn't realize until a couple days later that that light had been left on and my battery was completely dead in the truck. So I thought, well, okay, fine. So I pulled my car up and I tried to jump the truck using my car. I know how to jump a car. I didn't do it wrong, I promise. I've jumped, I've had to do it many times um, for myself and other people. And I, it wouldn't, the, nothing, like, no, and I thought, well, and then I checked and found out the battery was seven and a half years old, and I thought, well, that may be the problem. <laughs> but then I had someone come over who had a portable um, jumper thing. You know, you just ask the little box. It's the little box, and has the cables, and it it started right up. Um, so I'm wondering about my, about my jumper cables uh, because they didn't do anything. And I tried three different times to jump that truck off. I tried twice in one day, and again the next day, and just nothing. Anyway, they had these for ten dollars, and they're four gauge, so um, they were on clearance. They were, I think, they were originally twenty dollars, but they had them marked down to ten dollars. So I thought it wouldn't hurt to get a new set of jumper cables, and just stick this in the car. You never know when you're going to need them, or someone else might need a jump. So um, I'm going to leave these in my trunk. I may just dispose of the old ones. You know, just get rid of those. Uh, they they are super old. Um, I don't even know where they came, where he got them. They were just some old jumper cables my dad had lying around, and he just gave them to me. I had never tried them before my truck died, but so anyway, I got the truck started, and um, just out of an abundance of caution, because the battery was so old, I thought I don't want to take a chance with this battery, so I went ahead and drove it up to um, O'Reilly Auto Parts and got them to put in a new battery. Just because I figure as old as as old as it is, it's gonna die pretty soon anyway. And it had I had noticed that it had gotten to the point where when you went to start it, it started kind of it would it was kind of slow to start. I thought it was just because it was cold and that may be, but I thought just just go ahead and put a new battery in there so I won't have to worry about it later. And these, mm, this is heavy. These are like um, Aldi version of Sprite Citrus Twist. They are lemon lime flavored sodas. Right now, well, they've had these on sale for several weeks. You can get a 12 pack of these for only $2.17. <clears throat> and they're from Summit, which is right up here. That's an Aldi brand. And um, every now and then my kids will drink one of these and they say it's even better than Sprite. I don't know if that's true. I haven't had one. I'm not a big fan of Sprite anyway, but they both say that this tastes better than Sprite. So if you like Sprite and you have an Aldi near you, um, I might give the Citrus Twist a try just to see. It, well, here anyway, it's only two seventeen for a 12-pack, so it's way cheaper than Sprite. It might be worth giving it a try. And they do have that double, double your money and double... Uh, guarantee thing, the twice is nice thing, where if you don't like it, bring it back. They will give you give you your money back and give you a comparable item. So I don't know what they would give you. Maybe a bag of lemons and limes or something. <laughs> I don't know because they don't have Sprite, so I don't know what they would give you. But you can at the very least get all your money back if you don't like them. And I have I have taken some things back. I bought some canned cat food there one time. Um, I didn't take it back because the cats didn't like it. I took it back because I had opened several of them and you could tell it was rancid, like it had not sealed properly and it was just rancid. Um, I took them back 
and they gave me all of my money back and I think I had like 10 or 12 cans. They gave me 10, whatever many cans I had, they gave me those. So they gave me an additional, they gave me that many cans back and all my money back. So it was for my trouble. So that was awesome. They're wonderful. They don't question it. They're really nice about it. I just, I love everything about Aldi. Going to Lidl, I feel like I'm cheating on them or something. I feel bad. So, um, okay, I got one more thing. I'm saving this. I got one of these last year and I loved it. Oh, it was so good. This is Specially Selected, which is an Aldi brand. Now, this is not your everyday tin of popcorn. Now, I know you could go into Walmart and even um, Aldi and get the regular tin of popcorn. You know, it's bigger than this. And they have all the pretty designs on them. And they'll have three sections. They'll have, uh, they'll have like a white cheddar popcorn, butter popcorn, and caramel corn. This one takes that to a whole new level. This is the best stuff ever. Uh, I'm glad they only have it at Christmas because if they didn't, I'd be eating this all year and I would hate them for it. Um, it has, it also has three flavors, but the flavors are different. You get sea salt caramel corn and you also get peppermint caramel corn and snickerdoodle kettle corn in this lovely little pretentious looking can. Look how elegant that is. I feel underdressed to even hold it. It has these little trees all over it. Now it is expensive. I think it's $8. I think it's $7.99. But this is the best popcorn ever. <laughs> I love this stuff so much. I bought the first. I never bought it before last year. I had seen it there before, but I never bought it. My kids hate it, which is awesome because that means it's all mine. They don't like this stuff at all. They hate this popcorn. So it's great for me because I get the entire can to myself. I'm not going to open it until Christmas Day. I always save these for Christmas Day. So I'm very happy to have my indulgent popcorn mix. It is so delicious. If you if you like um, gourmet popcorn like that, I would, and you have an Aldi near you, I would definitely try that because it is so good. But that, I think that's everything I had to show you today. Um, just a random mix of stuff. But yeah, I only went in there for three things. I, three things? Four things? I don't know. I didn't go in there for all this. But I'm really glad I went in there because I'm very happy with the things I found. And I really hope you enjoyed seeing everything. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you have a great day. And I will see you again soon.